So the best way to start programming a React Native component is to develop our own React Native component. So we're actually going to just take all the code on here, which is, you know, this code is basically displaying this text on screen. We're just going to take it all and delete it. Now before we start writing anything, let's, let me just kind of briefly take you out onto the web and show you exactly what a component is. So this is a library called Material UI, which is a, uh, a library for React. So we have libraries on top of libraries on top of libraries now. Uh, a library for React, which basically helps people uh, do some cool React styles very quickly without having to build out components themselves. So what exactly is a component? Well, basically a component is anything you want it to be. Uh, a component is just any kind of piece of a web page or a, an app in, in React Native sense uh, that you kind of break off from the rest of it and you say, yeah, this this right here is probably its own thing that has its own set of properties, its own set of um, functions that we would just want to separate from the rest of the code that maybe we want to reuse again. Um, and we just want to have it uh, a little bit off uh, the way so that way we can, you know, change things one time and it, it changes everywhere. So let's take a look at a few components in here um, on the material UI. So the first one is app bar. So like maybe like the header of a, of a web page is a component. Um, you know, buttons are technically components, buttons themselves, because you can have lots of different styles and stuff for a button. So maybe a button is just a component in and of itself. Uh, we have card components. So something that you might see on uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, there are drawer components. So anytime you've ever wanted to have like a drawer pop out from the side of a website or an app, there's there's drawer components too, which we'll start using uh, later on in this course. Um, you know, pretty much anything, even even just something as simple as having like a paper, which basically just means like this this shadowed edge right here kind of makes things a little bit nicer, kind of divides things out. This in this itself is a component technically. So in React and React Native, components are basically anything that you want to um, kind of separate out and have its own different functions. Now in the case of this to-do app, we're only going to have one component because there's not a whole lot on screen going on. So we're just going to program probably everything in, inside of this one file. We might break it off into two. We'll see. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with programming this app component. So every single React Native component, whenever you're developing it, needs three things. The first thing is you need to import stuff. Then you need to create some stuff. And then the last thing you need to do is export some stuff. So the first thing, import some stuff. So import. We are going to import React into this component from React. Um, so basically what this is doing is it's going into this node modules folder, which is just, it's, it's given to us automatically by Expo, but if you're ever doing web development or um, building a React Native vanilla or something, node modules is basically that thing that we downloaded earlier called uh, the node package manager or NPM. And basically it's this huge open source repository of free JavaScript code that people have just developed and said, you know what, instead of somebody reinventing the wheel and doing the same thing I did, I'm just going to put this out there for anyone to use. So we have all kinds of files inside of here uh, that you didn't build, that somebody else built, and they're basically giving it to you. And Expo made a, did a pretty good job of packaging that in. So the first thing we're doing is importing React from React, which is basically the, the JavaScript library that Facebook built. So we're using that right now. We have to import it into our project. And then the second thing we want to import is a couple of components. Uh, the first one's called view, and then the second one is called text. And we want to import these from React Native. So React Native has some built-in uh, component primitives. Um, these are two of them. We'll get into some of the others later on. Expo has some of their own built-in components. And then there's uh, and like you know pretty much anything you can think of. Like if you wanted a video on screen. There's a component out there that somebody made for it and all you'd have to do is go to Google and say you know React Native Video Component and there's gonna be like three links to GitHub of different uh, or NPM of different components that people have built and they said you know what this is probably better in someone else's hands. So we want to import a component, we want to import stuff. The second thing we want to do is create stuff. So we have to create that app uh, component and we have to do that by saying class app extends react dot component open that up now this code right here 
Uh, if you're familiar with some other languages, this kind of looks like Java, and there's a reason why. It's because JavaScript is moving into ES6 right now, which is just the newest version of JavaScript, and they tried to make certain things kind of look like other languages. That's all. Now, inside here, inside of uh, these curly braces, we want to, to, uh, to call the render function, and basically, I talked about it earlier, uh, React JavaScript is all about rendering stuff to the screen, rendering comp uh, component pieces to the screen. So we're going to want to render some stuff to the screen, and immediately we want to return some stuff to the screen. So we want to return uh, a pair of view tags, and we want to return some text tags in here. So we can say something like, hello world, this app is great, you know, something like that. T shouldn't be capitalized. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is export some stuff. So basically we imported some stuff, we created our component, and we got to basically take that component and send it back into the world, uh, into our folder. Otherwise, it's never gonna it's never gonna work. So we have to just say export default app. So we're just gonna export this app component. Now, as soon as I hit save, uh, this is going to refresh using Expo, and it's going to pop in our app component on screen immediately. Now you see up here, kind of hidden, it says "Hello World, this app is great." Um, I, Android might be a slightly different than this, but um, basically, you know, this is kind of styled horribly. Uh, to put it lightly, it's styled horribly, and we need to use some styles to get this thing back into the middle. Um, we'll start talking about that in the next video, uh, how to get this text centered again, just like we had in the last few um, uh, apps that we were looking at. Um, but, you know, right off the bat, uh, you're not going to have any styles. You pretty much going to have. You're going to have to do some things yourself. Not everything can just be an npm package. So, I will see you in the uh, in the next video where we start talking about styling this.